Good morning, folks. Quick news stories here. SpaceX is on its way to the ISS and a reminder to keep up on the controlled demolition of our global financial theater. It's the US, EU, and Asia. Mount Loken in Indonesia erupted yesterday. We had two significant quakes this morning, a six-pointer in the Gulf of California and a 5.9 in Bolivia. Here are the full readings from that Bolivia quake and above that for Gulf of California. At the top there, it actually rang meters in New Mexico and Arkansas. Also got eyes between those quakes at the Caribbean plate always a concern. This high pressure system has the parking brake on, pretty much holding these low temperatures in place. At least all expected precipitation for the next 48 hours should be rain and not snow. Speaking of rain, North Carolina snagged three of the four precipitation records set yesterday. Let's quickly watch as those downpours developed here. We got three tropical systems of concern right now. Preparun, just east of Asia, is expected to get very strong as the week progresses. Olivia, off the Mexican west coast, is moving slowly and probably going out to sea. And this developing low in the Caribbean still doesn't have its act together as it trucks westward slowly towards Florida. This is Stereo B. Earth is off to the right, and yesterday this big blast occurred, and it was visible from Earthside satellites. It ripped a massive CME out into space, but luckily it will whiz just past Earth behind us in our orbit. You remember we did have an expected impact, however, and it has just struck Earth. Magnetosphere sim on the left, standoff distance on the right. It's good when that's above the geosynchronous line, but wham. The charged particles from the CME began bombarding our planet around 500 hour UTC. You can see the jump in solar wind speed and density in the yellow and orange. Fluxgate shows disturbance, induction shows resonance, and Tony Phillips, I know you love immediate reporting, but how many weak impacts will you call out before waiting for the full geomagnetic storm to appear? Mid-levels already, probably not going much higher. Probably don't have many flares in the offing. The Earth-facing active region carries bipolar threat but hasn't proved a thing as of yet. Still await a better view of this one here. Don't forget we should be getting more impacts. The dark coronal holes on the right should have their wind strike us today with more coming in from the left there. Eyes open with no fear. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.